What is going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video today i'm going to be fishing a new area for y'all i'm going to be fishing the creek not new for me but for y'all it hasn't been fished in about six months they shut down the creek so this is the first time i'm going to be fishing in about six months this area specifically the bass haven't been pressured here the blue haven't been pressured here so hopefully we can land some fish i got some live bait from walmart hopefully we can catch some fish though let's get to it all right everybody so i made it to the first spot of the day i'm not seeing anybody here this is the first spot <laughs> that i wanted to fish but there is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten probably like 15 ducks here i know these can attack you <laughs> they're very territorial these like swans so i'm just gonna kind of ease my way to the left i am seeing a lot of bluegill i'm gonna start fishing right here i have yet to see a bass though so i'm gonna rig up for a bass i wasn't sure if i was able to fish here because i'm not seeing anybody or anybody even walking but a sheriff just passed by me. Oh, that's a big bluegill. Another big bluegill. There's a ton of big bluegill here. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh, these are freaking huge. A sheriff passed me and he didn't say anything. So this creek is clearly open once again. I'm gonna make a few casts for some bass. This area hasn't been pressured in, like I said, six months. Could be some bass here. Hopefully we can catch some big bluegill. That is a giant bluegill right there. And hopefully even a bass, but my main objective is to catch a bluegill. Let's get to it. So after fishing for bass for a little bit, I made a few casts. I didn't make that many casts. I'm seeing some freaking huge bluegill, like giant. Well, I even thought one of them was a small bass. That's how big they look in the water. There are some, some big bluegill down there. I wouldn't doubt if I get munched. And these worms are fresh out of Walmart. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot and see if I can land a giant bluegill so i've tied on significantly more amount of bait just to entice these bigger bluegill i mean they seem pretty interested but i think some of them can see the hook and they kind of spook off at least i have caught one so far I'm not seeing where that huge bluegill went I'm seeing a few right here i want to catch that giant bluegill i'm getting bit I'm getting bit i got one. Oh, that's a big chungus big one big one everybody that's a big one. Oh my gosh Come on, come on. Land this guy. I need to land him. Oh. <laughs> These are the big blue girl I'm talking about, everybody. It's huge. No freaking way. He absolutely inhaled my bait. Believe it or not, there's actually some bigger bluegill down there. So I got the hook out. Oh my gosh, look at that freaking huge bluegill. I'm gonna go ahead and let this bluegill go. Right there. There is a big fish right there. I don't want to spook them. There's a bigger fish right there. Bigger than the last one that I just caught. These things are huge. They're so fun to catch. I think I might have gotten the other bluegills fired up. So that is a good thing. I'm going to try and catch some more. Hopefully a bigger one. Maybe. Because there are some bigger bluegill. There's a chance that I might catch one. But that was a pretty decent sized bluegill. So freaking fun with this ultralight gear also moving. If you let it sink or if you let it stay still, they lose interest. But like I'm attracting a ton of bluegill right now. You gotta actually make it look like a real worm, like a twitching worm. Got one. There we go. There's a bunch of a bunch of bluegill there, and I caught the smallest one that I could possibly catch. Nice. There he goes. See you later, buddy. I'm gonna have to tan a little more worm, but I kind of have it dialed down already. The technique, how I'm supposed to catch these fish, and it seems to be working so far. I'm gonna keep fishing. Hopefully, I can land a big one, like I said. But it might be a little tough, but I'll give it a shot anyway. I got one. I didn't even think I had one. There we go. What is that? The fourth bluegill of the day? Not a bad size. Nice bluegill. There he goes. Back into the water. Got one. Got a bluegill. Oh, this guy's a fighter. Antsy little guy. Love that. What is that? Fifth, sixth bluegill of the day? Not bad. See if we can catch some more like i said i really want to catch a big bluegill or even a baby bass i know they're here i've seen some bass so it's just a matter of catching one honestly but it's pretty good so far i've already caught like five or six bluegill i don't know i always lose count when i'm bluegill fishing i just can't keep up i'm gonna keep scouting looking for some baby bass some big bluegill hopefully land some more so i went to reload my my worm 
Look what I got. New species of the day, everybody. Not a bluegill. Little craw. I hate handling these things. I absolutely hate handling them. All right, let it go, buddy. Let it go. All right, you can keep that little piece of worm. Look at that. I don't like grabbing these because I hate those pinchers, but I literally did not think we we're gonna catch a little crawfish, but pretty cool. No way. No freaking way, everybody. Look what I got. It's the same crawfish. All right, let it go. Let it go. All right, you can keep that. <laughs> got one. With the other rod in my hand. Oh my gosh. So at this point, I'm just letting my bait sit in the water and then I'm just bass fishing, trying to catch a bass. But right now, a huge bluegill, probably the biggest one in this creek, just shot at my worm and I just freaked out. So he didn't commit, but the other bluegill seemed pretty interested. So he might be catchable. Hopefully we can catch him. I mean, he is huge. I'm going to drop my bait back down in the water, let it sit, continue to bass fish, hopefully land another fish. I'm just going to leave it there. Hope I get a bite, continue bass fishing. Well. Wanna let go, buddy? There he goes. Was that third crawfish of the day? Still have yet to catch a bass. Caught a crawfish, caught bluegill. Just need a bass. That's all I need. Yo, no. It's a bobber. It ain't food, bud. All right, everybody, so I think I'm gonna catch one more fish and call it a day. I've been fishing for about two hours now, around there. So I'm gonna try and land one more fish, one more bluegill, decent size. And for that, I'm gonna cast right under this rock. Oh, there's a ton of bluegill right here. Oh, that's a bluegill that's giant. He might have just eaten my bait. That would be a good way to end of the day. I might set the hook just in case. Oh, I got him. No, he came off. That was a giant bluegill. Probably close to the biggest one in this creek. Oh, that would have been a good way to end the day. I knew he had it too. I knew he had it, but he came off. I should have let him eat it a little longer. All right, I'm gonna try and catch one more. Hopefully another one like that. I doubt it though, but oh my gosh. There we go, everybody. Last bluegill of the day. Not a giant, but I'll take it. After losing that giant, I fished for about another 10 minutes or so. Just to try and catch one final one. There he is. Let him go. All right, everybody, that's going to effectively end today's video. Not a bad day. I caught probably seven or eight bluegill in total today. Pretty good. I tried to land a huge bluegill, but I wasn't able to. They are there though. I honestly expected today to go pretty easily and to catch these fish pretty easily. But it was kind of tough, honestly. Even though after six months, this place has been closed down. It was still pretty hard to catch these fish, but not a bad day. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like on this video. Comment and subscribe for future content just like this. I'll catch y'all next time on JJ Fishes. Thank you